Everyone, my heart is absolutely aching and I'm coming to you in today's video as an American citizen who is just pouring out my heart and expressing my frustration as, as I'm looking at my home country and, and really I'm just looking in disbelief. I, I just don't know what to think of my homeland anymore because it has become such a dangerous society. It has become so unstable and the root cause of this problem is dirty, corrupt politicians who refuse to listen to American people and refuse to act in the best interest of Americans. And quite frankly, that there has to come a point where we do something about this. And I am beyond frustrated because I'm an American citizen that's been living abroad for 15 years. You know, I've lived in a communist country for 10 years. I've lived in a socialist country after that for five years. And the differences that I see in these countries have really made me see very clearly what is the problem with America. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. And I wanna to start today's video by playing a clip from Steve Kerr, the basketball coach of the Golden State Warriors. Listen in. And in the last 10 days, we've had elderly black people killed in a supermarket in Buffalo. We've had Asian churchgoers killed in Southern California. And now we have children murdered at school. When are we gonna do something? You can see the raw emotion that's coming out of Steve Kerr, and this is, it's exactly what I and many Americans are feeling right now. You know, America, for so many years, we have been this shining light for the world. We have been a place where, where people around the world want to immigrate to. We've been a place where, you know, there's hope, there's freedom, there's all of these great values. But all of this is being destroyed in America right now because greedy politicians just don't want to act in the best interest of our citizens. I'm tired. I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to, to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. Steve Kerr says it perfectly here. How many times are we gonna have the President of the United States come up and have a moment of silence for the victims? My heart and condolences, rest in peace. None of that matters. When are we going to come through with actual action that makes change in this country? There's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on HR 8, which is a background check rule that the House passed a couple years ago. It's been sitting there for two years. And there's a reason they won't vote on it to hold on to power. So I ask you, Mitch McConnell, I ask all of you senators who refuse to do anything about the violence and school shootings and supermarket shootings, I ask you, are you going to put your own desire for power ahead of the lives of our children and our elderly and our churchgoers? And there it is, Steve Kerr said it, very bluntly and very clearly for everybody to hear, it's simply because our government officials do not want to relinquish their power on American people. And, and 50 senators in Washington are gonna hold us hostage. Do you realize that 90% of Americans, regardless of political party, want background check, universal background check? 90% of us, we are being held hostage by 50 senators in Washington who refuse to even put it to a vote despite what we the American people want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. 90% of Americans, regardless if you're Democrat or Republican, want to have universal background checks. Is this what democracy has become? Do you know how difficult it is for you know, for foreigners to look at America and try to understand what's going on inside of our country. It's even difficult for Americans to understand. And this is what Steve Kerr said so brilliantly. This is the problem. We're so numb to mass violence. We're so numb to this because mass shootings are so common in our country. Again, it's just like, well, let's hold a moment of silence and then we're gonna go play this basketball game. Oh, well, you know, life goes on. What, what other option do we have? That's the only option for Americans. And this is the interesting thing. Many of you who follow this channel you know, know that I give insights into China. It's a country that I lived in for 10 years. It's a country I've done business in for over 15 years. And this is the interesting thing about China. I can guarantee you right now, there is not a single parent in China, not a single parent in China that ever has to worry about getting their child ready and sending them to school and worrying about their child being gunned down and just killed 
Because why? Because they went to school, because they went to a playground. That fear does not exist in China. Now, don't get me wrong. China is, you know, has its own problems like every other country in the world and they're dealing with them and, you know, no country is perfect. But how are we as America, how are we trying to preach the benefits of democracy around the world when you have a clear example like this, 50 senators holding the entire United States population hostage because of their selfish interest and because they refuse to do the right thing for American people. This is, ladies and gentlemen, a, a prime example of an absolute failed government system and it is absolutely disgusting. I'm absolutely disgusted at what American politics has become. It's a disaster. And forget about China right now. I'm living in Canada right now. Do you know how many Canadians have come up to me in the last five years? And, they, and as soon as they find out that I'm an American citizen, they almost look at me with condoling eyes like, oh, I understand why you're in Canada. Man, what happened to America? You know, Cyrus, when growing up in Canada, we always used to look at America as this shining light, as this beacon of hope. You guys are our big brother. We always wanted to be like America. But ever since 2016, your country has been downhill. Your reputation as an American on the international stage has plummeted. And now, we're quite frankly, we're happy we're in Canada. Because Canada has pretty much all the good things from America, and all the bad things you have in America, we don't have here. That's the biggest difference between America and Canada. Do you know how hard that is as an American citizen to hear that? I mean, I mean the thing is, is that I am American, no matter how long I live abroad. You know, I'm always going to be American. Of course I'm going to love my country. It's the country I spent 23 years of my life in. It's given me so many opportunities. I was educated in America. I'm a proud American. But it is just, I, I, I just can't express in words how, how hard this is to watch every single day to just open up my phone and see another message from this. But let me bring you back to a few years ago when there was a mass shooting in my home state, the state of Florida, and one of our senators, Marco Rubio, he got on stage and students from this high school asked him a point blank question. Will you accept money from the NRA? Now the NRA is the National Rifle Association. Senator Rubio, can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA in the future? Look at the crowd reception. Everybody wants this change in America. People want to see our politicians acting with integrity. Marco Rubio receives millions of dollars from the NRA. And this is what people want. Please don't accept that money. You can't accept money from the National Rifle Association in, in your state where, where students have literally just been killed. But look at his response. No, the answer to the question is that people buy into my agenda. The answer to the question is people buy into my agenda. What the hell does that even mean? People buy into my agenda? You just had multiple children gunned down in your home state. A student who is devastated seeing his own friends gunned down asks you point blank, will you promise not to accept any more money? And your response is, people buy into my agenda. So right now, in the, name, in, the name, in the name of 17 people, you cannot ask the NRA to keep their money out of your campaign? I think in the name of 17 people, I can pledge to you that I will support any law that will prevent a killer like this No, but I'm talking getting NRA a money. No, no, because... Now, as the typical politician that Marco Rubio is, he fumbles around, he says a bunch of different words. Ultimately, his answer is no. I cannot stop accepting this money. Because the answer is simple. To be a publicly elected official in America, you need a lot of money. That's how the system works. It's incredibly corrupt, it's incredibly dishonest, and there is no integrity in this business. Every politician has their pockets lined from greedy corporations who are basically funding them to get laws passed. And listen to another senator describe exactly what this has led to in America. And so what you have today is 50% of weapons in this country being owned by 3% of Americans. Um, and, and the gun industry makes money off of sort of selling weapons yes. based upon this fear of government, a, a completely, totally irrational fear. The propaganda that we hear every day in America is that you need to own guns because the government cannot be trusted. 
I deal with international relations. I deal with between fostering a better relationship between the United States and China. And, and you can just see how Chinese people are analyzing this. They're looking at America right now and they're saying, wow, in America right now, people literally, you, you go to a supermarket, you go to a church, you send your children to school. In the last week, if you were at any of these places, you could have potentially lost your life just from being there. That doesn't happen in China. That does not exist in China at all. And the reality is, is that many Chinese people, they actually trust their government. Yes, it's a communist government. Yes, there is less freedom in China than we have in America. But for many Chinese people, they will gladly trade in some of that freedom for more safety. But the reality is, is in America, it's the complete opposite. We have zero trust in our government. And that is what the gun companies are telling us. They are telling us, you cannot trust the US government, so go out and buy more guns for protection, for protection from your government, from other people. And that has led us to a society that is completely unsafe. And it is just remarkable. It is just unfathomable for me as an American to just sit and watch this every single day. And this is Senator Chris Murphy who says again, this only happens in this country and nowhere else. Nowhere else do little kids go to school thinking that they might be shot that day. I stand 100% behind the words of Steve Kerr and everything that he said. I 100% empathize with him and all of these parents, but that doesn't mean anything. What am I gonna do, write a tweet out? You know, hashtag stand with the families in, in, in Texas, hashtag, you know, rest in peace, little ones. What the hell does that do? It does nothing. It's time for us to make a change. And as a YouTuber that has a voice, that has a platform, I want this video to be heard. I want people to understand exactly, you know, what it really feels like to be an American citizen, especially one that's been living outside his country for over 5,000 days. And again, just devastated to look and see the state of affairs of America. You know, the ironic thing about this though, is that this makes me actually love America even more. Because again, I'm never going to change the fact that I'm from America. I'm never gonna change the fact that I love America. And you know what might have to happen? I might have to go back and maybe use this platform and actually start to make change in America. Maybe this is a tipping point that I need to actually go back to America and start to be a change of something different because I'm absolutely sick and tired of it. The world needs a better America. We need a better country, not only for American citizens, but we need to be a better example to the world. And quite frankly, there's not a single country in the world that's looking at America and is thinking, wow, that's a great country. I'd love to be there right now. Look at how safe it is. Look at the prosperity there. No, American citizens are absolutely suffering right now. We're heading right into the middle of a recession. Our government is failing and something has to change. Everyone, thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you for listening to me. And again, I'm gonna to continue to use this platform that I have on social media to invoke change, to, to, uh, to basically build better relationships and to, to build a better world. That is what I'm trying to do. I'm a father of three young children. My heart, my heart absolutely aches. I, I don't know what would, I would do if that was one of my children. I, I would absolutely devastate me. And this has to be a change. This has to be a tipping point for America. And we're gonna be using this platform to be invoking this change that we need to see in the world. Anyways, thank you all for spending time with me here on YouTube. If you've made it to this point in the video, please consider subscribing uh, and drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And anyways, thank you all for your support. I look forward to seeing you in another video soon.